Hello and welcome to today's video. Shadow Forged is the polish of the day. This is another bee's knees. There are two more to swatch after this video, so we aren't quite done with the recent purchases. This one is a charcoal base with blue to purple to fuchsia shift. We will see gold to red shift at very specific and hard to find angles. They're cagey, but we will see them later. Since we're looking at the bottle right now, you can see the gold and red at the corners. That doesn't always mean those colors will translate onto the nail, but in this case it does. I was having a rather shaky day. My first coat is a bit of a mess since I don't really get into my cuticle line very well, but it will get fixed slowly over the three coats. I also paint incredibly thin and uneven. Most of the time I do a decent job, but just not this day and not with this hand. This polish very much goes on like a multi-chrome. I don't like the look of it in one coat and just would never wear it that way. I feel that way about a lot of multi-chromes. I do find that certain dark multi-chrome pigments look like fine iron filings on the nail before it's fully built up. There's some of that effect here. I'd love to tell you that my other coats will redeem me, but not in this case. It's pretty much bad the whole way through. We just have to suffer through it. It isn't just that I've painted badly. There is a lack of shimmer and the base also just doesn't give me a great color coating. So I doubt I would wear this one in a single coat in the future. We are getting a preview of that blue shimmer that will play a major part in this polish. On brand for this day, I also somehow off camera when I was doing my other four nails, just instinctively tried to paint my thumbnail and had to take half a coat back off and redo my base coat before this footage was taken. So I had started in a great place that day. In the second coat, I fixed that gap on the right side of my nail, but I still don't quite put enough paint on my brush, so my coat is very thin. You can definitely do better than I did. In fact, I did better than that on all my other nails. But you can see the gray base deepening up and that shimmer building. It's interesting to me that there is a fuchsia large particle shimmer in this polish, but it's very shy here in the LEDs. We will see it more outside, but we are still seeing that deep navy shimmer. I think you could wear this in two if you got it more even than I did. I seemed determined to press the brush hard and not leave much polish. As I said, not my best work. But in two, you could probably get some nice charcoal looking base with enough shimmer to still shift evenly without it looking broken up like mine does. I opted for a third coat to hide my shame. In three, I still don't get it even because I hadn't been putting enough polish at the sides of my nails. This is just my application. I did cheat at the end of the third coat. I went in with a little bit of extra polish on my brush and just cleaned up those two sides that were still thin. I was going to wear this polish for a few days as my manicure, so I wanted it to look sane. I think I just painted too thin because I was trying to clean up my bad application. Someone with more integrity than me would have done it again, but better. But I post my fails. I feel like they're a more realistic representation of life. This polish won't be full coverage in three, but it will be shimmer heavy and dark enough that I find it has a false opacity. In the sun, you will see my ridges, but just barely. It did also move away from the edge of my nail a little bit, but not enough for me to worry about. This is something I expect from multi-chrome pigments. That blue pigment is the most obvious element, and you can see it move just barely to an indigo, but the magenta pigment has a little more density now, so you can see it just a little bit. And now I have to apologize about my sunshot, but my pinky just decided it was going to be a renegade. It wanted to move independently, and in the end, I just let it do its own thing. My pinky was living its best life in this clip. Who was I to tell it no? But we are seeing that deep navy shimmer in the sun, but with the tiny speckles of magenta now. 
I normally avoid magenta shimmer, but I liked the look of this one with that starry night background. I think this effect is achieved with a finer blue shimmer mixed with a larger particle black to red shimmer. I'm guessing, of course. I have no actual insights on nail polish recipes. I only have suppositions. Hopefully they don't rise to the level of conspiracy. In a second, we're going to move over into a dappled light shot, and it will give you a better idea of the opacity of this one. It just allows some of the nail to show through at certain angles. Most of the time it does look opaque, but it just has its moments of clarity. I think this is also where you can best see the thinness at the edge of my nail. Again, I don't think it's severe enough to worry about, but I just thought I'd mention it. The blue shimmer takes on a more cerulean and silvery tones here as well. It doesn't look quite as deep as it did in the previous shot. I was trying to remember who this polish reminded me of, and I finally remembered in the shower. Thank goodness for showers. How would any of us recall literally anything without them? I was thinking of Elvira. I used to watch her late nights on weekends. I know she wore black nail polish for the character, but I feel like this polish would live very comfortably in her nail polish drawer next to the black. This is Elvira's casual look. For those times when she didn't want to look quite so formal. It's dark, but also fun. I did rewatch her Mistress of the Dark movie about two years ago, and it was still campy fun. I forgot how wholesome her comedy was. I can recommend it to anyone who likes a B-movie or just a bit of lighthearted camp. In the full shade, you can see the blue shimmer has changed again and can now look a little sky blue, and it shifts over to an indigo. We can also see it move over to a magenta, and just past the magenta is the golden red. This is how I expect to see a shimmer as a crescent-shaped slice on my nail. Unlike FFS, I do think this shift is part of Shadow Forged. I can't tell if I think it's getting to a black shift here, but if it's not, then it's very close to a black. These are the hard to see colors in the polish, the red, the gold, and the black. A substantial amount of the time it will be blue or fuchsia. Inside, you can see it's looking very dark, almost black. There are some hints of navy and magenta. You really cannot see any of the speckles. They're more obvious outside and in person. They're still present. I just don't think they show very well on camera, so I feel like they're just being a little underrepresented here. You can see them, but it's difficult. The lower light makes everything deep and muted by the black, and no sign of the indigo red or gold inside. I did check this polish against Daydreams. They do seem to have very similar shimmer shifts, but they differ in their opacity. I remember Daydreams being quite creamy, and this one is definitely more on the jelly side. They might need a formal comparison in future. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it when anyone watches my videos. Uh, please enjoy a clip of my tiny foot menace. Hello, my little toe muncher. Do I need to fear? Oh, I know. So cute.